Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a Pediatric Occupational Therapist, CLC, and part of the Infant Development Team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And I'm here today to talk to you about three ways to work on sitting with your infant. Make sure you go at my previous video and look at the three signs of readiness for working on sitting with your infant before you watch this video to make sure your infant is ready. The first thing I love, love to do when working on sitting with infants is use a vertical surface. The reason for a vertical surface is that when infants are first working on prop sitting, the floor can be a really far way down and it can be really hard for them to get that, their body into that position and maintain it when they're first working on sitting. I like to use a vertical surface like this walker. I love to put seeds on the front, have something they can interact with, and then their arms can reach straight out and work on pushing up against that to maintain and gain that shoulder strength needed for prop sitting. This is the first way I love to work on sitting. Um, after your infant has gotten really good at the ability to do sitting at a vertical surface where they're pushing straight off, you then want to start to work on their ability to do it closer to the ground because that's how they're then going to progress to independent sitting. So for this, what I love to do is grab a small box or a small bin. Um, I find that Amazon boxes tend to work really well for this. And you're going to put the toy on top of the box and then your infant would be able to reach and engage with the toy here. Again, that brings the place that they're pushing down a little bit, so working a little bit more on that back extension, but it still works on it being within their line of sight because a lot of times where the eyes go are where the body is gonna go. So if your infant is falling over a lot when they're working on sitting and the toy is maybe on the ground, bring the toy up a little bit, that's gonna encourage a little bit more back extension and actually is gonna encourage a more appropriate pelvic tilt to bring the base of support up a little bit and that should help them maintain that focus and maintain that balance. Um, you can also do the same thing with a toy that is a little bit off the ground. Um, so this fish toy is one of my favorites because it's a really good thing for infants to push up on if you don't have a box handy. And finally, I love to work on sitting on the ball with my infants. Um, it is a very dynamic way to work on sitting. Infants really enjoy the movement of it. So when I'm first working on sitting on the ball, I will have the infant Sitting like this, I always make sure there's a little bit of bend in their knee. That's really important because if there's not a bend in their knee and their legs are straight out, they're actually using their hips to maintain that, that position and not their core. And we really want to be firing that core and building it up with this position. So when working on the ball, I will be holding the infant right around the bottom of their trunk at their pelvis. And you can either work on some rolling back and forth, side to side. And what I really love about this position is it also brings the infant up a little bit so they're at eye level with you, which can really help with their engagement and overall tolerance for the position. If you have any questions regarding your infant's sitting development or other developmental milestones, we would be more than happy to answer them. Please reach out. Thanks so much.